In this module, we'll follow Hal as he does his job. Let's see if you make the same decisions as he does. Hal has been asked to conduct an inspection of an overhead crane. In order to perform this job safely, he needs a fall protection plan. Hal A. Writes his own fall protection plan. B. Consults with his superior. C. Refuses to work. The answer is B. Hal consults with his superior because the employer is responsible for writing a fall protection plan and making it available to all workers. If you have a fall protection plan and the equipment available, you should go ahead and use them. A. Yes. B. No. The answer is B, no. The Occupational Health and Safety Code states that workers must be trained in fall protection. Hal is using a man lift to inspect the overhead crane. The fall protection system deemed necessary for this task is A, a fall arrest system. B, a guardrail. C, a travel restraint system. The answer is C. It's a travel restraint system including a full body harness. The lanyard Hal is using includes this device. A. A shock absorber. B. A self-retracting lanyard. C. A vertical lifeline. The answer is A, a shock absorber, which will lengthen the time of deceleration should he have a fall and lessen the physical forces on his body. Thanks to the fall protection plan, Hal shortened his lanyard, giving him enough clearance to do his job in confidence and send him safely home. Following a well-developed fall protection plan in conjunction with hands-on training will ensure you have a safe and productive day at work.